Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Else If, and in this lecture we're going to continue from where we left off in the previous lecture, which was if statements, and we're going to learn a little bit how to extend our if statement using the Else If statement. All right, so in your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 12 Else If. In your code editor, make sure that you open the final and practice.php files in the 12 else if folder. The practice.php file is a basic skeleton that I've set up for you so that you can create what I've already built in the final.php example. I'll show you what that looks like right now. It says, hola, usted habla espanol. And I know it's just a simple Spanish sentence, but we're actually using some PHP programming using if, else if, and else to achieve this result. So let's jump into the lecture and then we will get our hands dirty with some code. So there is one last piece to the if and else puzzle. It is called else if, pronounced else if. Else if is a kind of combination of if and else. PHP.net puts it quite nicely. Like else, it extends an if statement to execute a different statement in case the original if expression evaluates to false. However, unlike else, it will execute that alternative expression only if the else if conditional expression evaluates to true. So if the above explanation is as clear as mud, the syntax looks just like this. If expression, code to execute if the above expression is true. Else if, different expression, code to execute if the first expression is false, but the else if expression is true. Else code to execute if neither of the above expressions are true. So now if we added some real PHP, it would look a little bit like this. So PHP, we have native language variable, Spanish, if native language is equal to French, then echo, bonjour, vous parlez français, else if native language is equal to Spanish, echo, hola, usted habla espanol, else Echo, hello, you probably speak English. So here's the commented code, just with a little bit more of an explanation. So we set a variable. You should know how this works by now. Now the first if statement right here. If the native language is French, then echo some French. Else if the native language is Spanish, then echo some Spanish. Else the native language is neither of the above, then just echo some English. So basically, in plain English, this is if the native language variable or your native language is French, then echo French. Otherwise, check to see if their native language is Spanish, then echo some Spanish. Otherwise, if, they're, if they don't speak French or Spanish, then just echo some English because hopefully they speak it. All right, so let's jump into our code editor. Let's start off by adding our constants and our variables. So the first constant is the title and it is else if. And then we're going to add our custom variables and that will be my name and lesson number. And lesson number is 12 in the context of this folder. Remember that it is not the lesson number uh, in the entire course because we're much further along, but just a reference to where we are in the Code Dynamic Websites course files folder. One more variable we need to add, native language. And although it is not my native language, I'm just going to put Spanish for the purpose of this lecture. So let's start out by adding our titles and such, PHP echo title. Copy that, we're gonna do that between the small tag down here. We're gonna add the lesson number using PHP echo lesson num and down here we have the year so php echo date capital y gives you the full year and then the name using php echo echo my name variable there we go good to go now let's jump into our sandbox start your php script and let's start by adding a basic PHP if, else if, and else skeleton. Looks like this. All 
All right, so there's the basic skeleton. And let's start adding our first expression in the first if statement. So if native language is equal to French, then echo, bonjour, vous parlez français. All right, so now because I use this little funky letter here, I'm going to encode the entities. And if you're using Coda 2, you can easily do that here. Otherwise, you just have to use the HTML, special HTML character, ampersand, C, C, E, D, I, L, and semicolon. That will get you that character. Okay, now in the else if, we're going to ask or check if the native language is Spanish. And then we're going to echo, hola, upside down exclamation point, usted habla espanol. And right here we have some special characters, so I'm going to highlight this with Coda 2, right click, and then processing in code entities. That will get me my ups, upside down exclamation or inverted exclamation point, so ampersand, I-E-X-C-L, semicolon. Usted habla español. So we have the N with the little tilde thing on top. So ampersand N T I L D. Oops. Ampersand N T I L D E. Semicolon. We'll get you the N with the tilde on top for español. Else, we're going to echo some English. Hello. You probably speak English. All right. And that with the semicolon, make sure to have these lines also end with semicolons. I almost forgot that. And save that. Now go to your co, uh, your browser and check out your example. All right, here it is. Hola, usted habla español. So now let's see if we can change this result. And all we need to do is change the value of our native language variable. So let's just say your native language is French. Bonjour, vous parlez français. And let's just say something else like German. Hello, you probably speak English. So it's we don't have our little script here to be smart enough to know if we speak German or if we speak something else like Arabic. It just says, hello, you probably speak English because our program here in PHP only checks to see if we speak French or Spanish. If you wanted to expand on that, however, you can add multiple else if statements. So let's just add one more here. Else if. Remember to add your expression. Now let's say maybe you speak a different native language. Let's say your native language is Arabic since we just used it up there. Now I don't know how to write any Arabic unfortunately, but let's just say in English here. Yay, you can speak an awesome language, Arabic. All right, so now save that and make sure your native language variable is set to Arabic and check it out. Yeah, you can speak an awesome language, Arabic, cool. So that's how you do the else if statement. And you remember you can add multiple here and we added an extra one here in between the last else if and the, and the else. And we just added another instance here to make our PHP script even smarter. So hopefully that shows you the power of the PHP else and else if statements when they're tagged onto the end of the if statement. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that lecture. I'll see you in the next one.